Oh yes, Uncle Bokow back in the building, and look what I got. Look at look at here, a fresh pod, and that's a beauty. You guys know I love yellow pods, and you know I also love pods that I've never tried before. This, my friends, is a BOC Primo Cream. Hey, I've had the BLC cross with the orange Primo and other ones, but I've never had this. And I'm going to be eating it with some food. I got me a nice homemade Salisbury steak or Salisbury steak or Salisbury steak, as they say down here in the South. And uh, I'm going to be munching on this with some food. Of course, later on, you'll see Mrs. Bokow dive in and we're going to be reviewing some pods straight together. But uh, we're going to be doing a little food with this. Holy cow. Instant lemony, um, citrusy flavor. Instant heat. Very hot pod. Look, all I did was bite the tip off it. I'm gonna have a little food. I got some some mashed potatoes here. I don't want to get cap cramps. We're gonna be reviewing a whole bunch of pods, and I'm not trying to get too wrecked. I can say this. This is slamming. If you guys have never checked out Linda's Fiery Treats, you need to do so. She's out of Florida. Here's a QR card. Ready, scan. Scan. Three, two, one. So Linda, is she sends me these nice samples too, man. She is awesome. She always goes above and beyond. These are little samples of her fiery treats. She does candy pecans, <coughs> brittles. Uh, I've ordered stuff from her a couple of times, and she has got the just the, the best sweets that you can uh, get your hands on, straight up and down. I mean, she got the triple X, um, strawberry jam. Scorpion, man, that stuff is straight money. She's got um, the green apple bun. Well, I think it's with the Reese, with the green reaper, hot sauce. Um, the the rum raisin apple pie preserves or jam. It's to die for. This is slamming and it's hot. Wow. I just found a new pepper that I wish I was growing this year. Might be one of her crosses. I've never heard of it before. Hmm. Wow. She got a nice little, this was pepper number 130. She got a nice little chart here with all of them um, listed. She's got, yeah, laminated. She knows what she's doing. Actually, I got the first box of pods this season from her. Yeah. It's the advantages of living in Florida. Disadvantages, gators, super hot weather, even longer. But she's got pods and I don't, so... <laughs> I counted my plants today. I have 57 of my own plants scattered about. My grown partners have one has 36. I think 36 or 38. One has 200. Of course, we're not going to have pods for a while. Although, my first little pod off of an overwintered seven pot Dougla actually popped. Um, so, can't, I can't say I don't have pods. I have one pod. This is ridiculously awesome. Even the smell of it. Mm. Now, the BLC Orange Primo is one of my favorite um, of the super hot peppers. Ooh, that's hot. Go below a million... Scoville's my favorite peppers are, of course, the Fatale, MOA Scotch Bonnet Yellow, and the uh, Papadretti. 
Just three, just three of my favorites that I just absolutely love. Um, going above a million, VLC Orange Primo all day. Seven Pot Primo Yellow. I don't know where that is on the Scoville scale, but another one of my favorites. As you guys know already, I'm a Yellow Pod guy. Ye love Yellow Pods. They're my favorite. That is unique right there. It's got a citrusy to it that you don't get in many Yellow Pods. A um, little bit of floral, but it's hot. I'm sweating right now. Way hotter than I thought it would be. Woo! I mean, I know there's some hot yellow pods. The yellow fever being one of them. That thing is ridiculous. But, being it's not pods even too, my tolerance is down, but I don't think that matters. That baby's hot. Wow. Yep, I can't wait to get into these for dessert. All right, guys, I'm going to finish my dinner. If you have not done so already, check out Linda's Fiery Treats.